What's up Fort Knox? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Riley Knox and I know it's been a very long time since I've uploaded a video to YouTube and you know what? Your girl has been very busy and I think a lot of you know why I've been busy um, but I'm here now. <laughs> so thank you so much for waiting around um, and coming back to the channel. If you have not already subscribed, make sure that you click the subscribe, like, and share this video. But let's just go ahead and talk about it. This dress, this dress that everyone keeps talking about, the dress. Um, I think a lot of people were very surprised that I made this dress for my best friend, Monique Samuels. Um, for her reunion on Real Housewives of Potomac and you know it almost did not happen <laughs> but I'm glad that it did and I'm so absolutely elated that you guys loved it and it respond I get, it got such an amazing response um, you know early on um, when we first set out to make this dress it was like okay listen I know she had a big season, and so it was like, if I'm gonna make this dress, this dress has to be amazing. Now, you guys know that I make everything that I wear on stage. I do not make clothes for other people, but I make everything that I wear on stage just kind of out of necessity. I have always done it, and now I kind of only trust myself to make the costumes that I wear on stage. For a lot of you that don't know that, I'm the number one Beyonce impersonator in the world, and so a lot of my costumes are replicas. Um, if you've never seen the video where I do the closet tour of my performance closet, make sure that you check that out. It will be linked below and also at the end of this video. But the way that this all came about is Monique and I were at lunch with her operations manager, Leaf, and we were sitting there and we were eating and I just happened to mention, you know, she mentioned that the reunion was coming up and I was like, oh, so what are you wearing to the reunion? She's like, I don't know. We have to wear yellow. Like, where are we going to find a yellow dress this time of year? And I was like, I know, right? Like, that's going to be hard. And so then her operations manager says, you should make it. And I went, what? No, absolutely not. I'm not, I'm not, not I'm definitely not. And Monique was looking at her phone. She was like, well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I mean. And I went, no, there's no way I can't make this dress. Like, no, 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 no. So we kind of like tabled it, right? So the next day we were going to dinner with uh, our friend Bronwyn, who is on The Real Housewives of OC. She was in town. And so on the way there, Monique picks me up in car service and we're sitting in the back of the car. And she, you know, I was like, well, here's some ideas I have. And I'm showing her like pictures of dresses the shapes of dresses that we could do in yellow. And she's like, this is me, you're gonna do it? And I was just like, I didn't say that. I didn't say I was gonna do it. <laughs> um, and uh, I said, but if I did, because at this point I was thinking about it and then I talked to my friend Billy and I talked to my other friend Richie, who you guys know, and I was just like, they're like, you gotta make this dress. You gotta make it. Like this would be huge for you, but also like it's just, it would be so amazing, you know? And I, honestly, I did feel very honored that she trusted me to, um, with her look, you know. Um, and I was just, I just was like, this is a big task. This is an important dress. This is, a, you know, with her having such a big year on the Housewives and also with it just being a reunion dress. And you guys know that reunions usually last a minimum of three episodes. So everyone was going to see this dress. So... And also every year, Monique gets dre best dressed. Everyone always loves her dress the most of everybody's look. So it was like the pressure was on. And so um, I just kind of gave her some ideas. And she was just like, oh, I like this. I like this. And I was just like, okay. And then I, the next day, went with my other best friend, Billy. And we went looking for fabric at fabric stores. Couldn't find anything in yellow sequin that we really wanted or that was really good. And um, I was just like, oh, this is not really, this is not really working out, like, you know? And um, so I have a relationship with the vendors in New York. And New York is, obviously you guys know, the fashion mecca, capital of fashion. And I hadn't been to New York in over like 10 months because of the pandemic. So I called my guy in New York from my favorite fabric store, H&M Fabric, shout out to them, um, on 38th Avenue. And um, I called King and I was like, hey, listen, I need you to send me, I need you to text me um, every sequin yellow that you have. And he was just like, 
okay, sure. So he sent over like five examples of yellow sequin and I, none of them, like all of them I didn't like except for two. And so one of them was kind of like lacy and I sent it to Monique and she was just like, I'm not really a lace girl. And the other one was just this most architectural art deco, very geometric, um, extremely like modern fabric, like pattern. And it had this mesh look to it. And so um, Monique was just like, you know, she was talking to her makeup artist and he was just like, look, I need her to do something she's never done before, blah, 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 all this stuff. And so I was like, yeah, it needs to be like, we need to see a little bit of skin. She's got, you know, got these incredible boobs. Like it needs to look really good. She's a tiny girl. Like if you've never met Monique in person, she's very tiny. So um, I found the fabric, like I said, and I sent the picture to Monique and she was just like, I like this one right here. And I was just like, me too. She's like, okay, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, okay, cool. So we ordered the fabric. I ordered four yards of the fabric and I thought, you know, I'm going to just go, like it got here overnight. They had it, they overnighted it to me. And I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and make a dress. Um, if she doesn't like it, then I can make another dress because I got enough fabric to make another dress, right? So I made this dress and it was like the strapless kind of look and it had like two sleeves, like a, so it would be like, sort of like I'm wearing right now, like an off the shoulder kind of thing. And um, I had to go to her house for something else that you guys will find out about later. Um, but I had to go to her house for something else. And I was just like, yeah, later you can try on the dress. And she went, wait, you have a dress right now? Oh, no, we're trying this on right now. So I was like, yeah, I made this dress. Like, I already made a dress. And so I had already made, like, the body of the dress. And she loved it. It fit her so perfectly. Um, it just so happens that my mannequin is the exact same size of her in my dress form. And so she tried this dress on and... Um, she was just like, you know, I want something up around my neck. Like I love things around my neck. And I was like, oh, okay. So let's, let me just go home and like rework that part of it. And the way that I draped the fabric onto the dress was very much to accentuate curves and, you know, exaggerate curves and, and try to incite curves basically. And um, so the placement was very key in the dress. And so I kind of altered, took out some pieces and cinched in some pieces. And so when you guys see these pictures, you see that a lot of it is, um, you know, you'll see it looked a little different in some other stages. So the base of the dress was a strapless dress. And then um, she was just like, I, you know, I want something up around the neck, but I do, I don't mind having a sleeve, you know, maybe we just do one sleeve. So this was definitely a collaborative effort. But she loved it when she saw it. She was like, loved it. Leave her operations manager was there. She loved it also. And so um, we, uh, I, I went home and I was just like, okay, I got to, um, first I had to dye the fabric so that the, the mesh in the fabric matched her skin tone. Um, and she was going, we knew that she was going to um, uh, Aruba. And so she went and got a tan, so I knew she was going to be dark. So I, you know, hand dyed every little piece there uh, because it is yellow sequin. So the sequin didn't dye um, in the fabric. And so um, the I went home and I just kind of started cutting up and playing with and doing like this whole like thing around the neck and then the sleeve and the placement was very key with the pattern of the dress, like the pattern that's going on in the dress. And so I played with that. I just kind of cut it, pinned it on, and I took a, a little snapshot of it, sent it to her, and she went crazy. Oh my God, I love that so much. I'm like, that's not even sewn, that's just pinned in place. She's like, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, I can't stop looking at this dress, can't stop looking at this dress. Oh my God, I love it so much. She loved it so much. And the dress kind of reminds me of two things. Kind of reminds me of like a warrior type look, but it also has like an art deco kind of a feel, like sort of the Chrysler building. And I, I really just was so obsessed with, and I would just stare at it, you know, and she was staring at it too. Um, I sewed up all the pieces on, on the neck and then me and my friend Billy went in on the crystals. It has 27,772 Swarovski crystals. People ask how I know that because I know how many we ordered and I know how many we put on. And literally they are hand placed one by one. Each one was picked up individually and put on 
<laughs> one by one. And when I tell you that this, this is a labor of love, and I even posted on Instagram, I was like, this dress is 18 years of love. 18 years of love went into this dress because Monique and I have been friends. You know, we met 18 years ago. And I wanted to make it so special for her. And the dress was already beautiful on its own, as you can see in the picture. It is quite beautiful, quite striking, and it already blinged already with the sequins. But if you really want to make something that sequin really pop, and we know this from the entertainment world and like Vegas and all that stuff, is if you rhinestone or put Swarovski crystals on top of sequin, it becomes blinding. It becomes like insane. And I honestly don't know if you guys, you guys aren't getting the full scale on the reunion show of what this dress really looks like in person. The blingage is insane. And I, I think, you know, when I sent her pictures of when I had just started to like bling it out or I sent her a video, I had to reiterate to her, this is not a bling app. You can actually, you know, those apps that make everything bling. This was not that. This is, this, this actually shines like this. It's brilliant. And the more stones we put on, the more that we kept ordering. Like we just wanted more and more and more and more. And thank God for Billy because what took us like, two weeks, not all day, but like one day we did spend like eight hours doing it. Um, we got that done, which would have probably taken like some people like, you know, months to do. We were literally just stoning like crazy until it was just covered. And the more we covered it, the more beautiful it became. This dress literally became prettier and prettier every day, the more stones we put on it. And I just, you know, after a while I started like sending her updates and she, her husband, her kids, could not stop looking at this dress. She just loved this dress so much. And when we went for the initial fitting after I had fin completed all the stones and everything on the dress, she just was like, wowed, you know? And originally I had put a shoulder pad in the dress. And that was because I wanted to have a very architectural, very strong look. But Monique has very strong shoulders already. She's got those Angela Bassett arms. And, you know, they look amazing already. So it kind of made her look very like, football player-ish and we were like no this is a little too much so I basically went in and just ripped that out and then kind of made a few tweaks there now Monique is a perfectionist and so and, and she knows how what makes her body look good she knows how to you know she's like maybe this needs to be taken in a little more here and I was I brought my sewing machine to her house and I was like literally we're not going to stop until we get the fit on this dress absolutely perfect you guys know that a fit is everything when it comes to uh fashion it's like fit is everything you can take the cheapest dress and it not fit and it fit well and look better than an expensive dress that does not fit well so absolutely that was key the fit and then we had to decide where we're going to put the split you know because we knew it needed a split we knew we we're going to have a split otherwise she wouldn't be able to walk in it and but we didn't know which side she was going to be sitting on so we thought okay the way the shape of this goes, the best place, I'm thinking right down the middle. And we were all like, yeah, it needs to be in the middle. And then we like set her in it because the, the thing is, these dresses need to sit well. They may look good standing, but they're going to be sitting for 16 hours and the show is going to be, you know, it, it's basically, you'll never see them stand up on the show. So um, we definitely, you know, made sure of that. Now, the other thing that you guys don't see is that the undergarments are built into the dress. The bra, like every every single thing is built in, so it basically sucks you in. Not that she needs a lot of sucking in at all, uh, but it sucks you in and it lifts the boobs and it just, you know, makes everything look amazing. So that's the one thing is that I, I wanted to make sure that she wasn't having to wrestle with the right kind of bra and was it showing and all this stuff. And so I, I built undergarments into the dress and I also dyed the undergarments to match her skin perfectly. So you don't see it at all. It looks like she's completely naked. It looks like the dress is completely see-through and naked and for the most part it is, but not on the naughty bits so you don't actually see anything. Um, that was key. Uh, we went with a very simple shoe. A lot of people were just like, oh, we wish she had a, a, a different shoe. But the thing you don't know about Monique is she never wears an open toe shoe. If you ever go, look, go and look back, you notice she's never worn an open toe shoe as long as I've known her. Um, and, you know, she has her reasons why she doesn't like an open toe shoe. She doesn't like the way her feet look. I tend to think they look fine, but uh, she does not. She will not wear open toe shoes. So we went with a So Kate Louboutin um, in uh, nude color and 
they looked beautiful with the dress. It just kind of looked like a fluid um, look to the dress. And plus, the dress is so busy on its own. We didn't want anything to compete. She ended up wearing um, her, um, she ended up uh, getting jewels from Jacob and company. He did uh, the jewels for her, her earrings. And um, her hair, we, you know, I had suggested, but of course this was a collaborative effort with her makeup artist and her hairstylist, but we, we were all like on the same page. Like this needs to be a very sharp look there. We're not doing a ton of curls. It needs to be very sharp, very, um, you know, sleek and very strong. And that's definitely what we did as far as um, the hair, which was done by Natalie Wong, who is her, um, her hairstylist um, on the reunion look. And Natalie did a very good job with the sharp bob. It was very good. It showed off the jawline or, and, and still allowed the dress to sing there. And then um, Jeff with the makeup, just so beautiful, the, the very carved out, but nude and very like beautiful glowing skin all over her decollete since that was all out. But, you know, the dress was, was honestly is my favorite, one of my favorite things I've ever made. And I'm really excited about that. And um, yeah, so the, the question now became, because I got so much attention with this dress and people were like, we didn't know you had it in you, you know? And so now the question, I know that you guys all have the question and you all saw this coming, but you're going to hear it from me first right here on YouTube. So before I even announce it on Instagram, before I announce it on Facebook, before I announce it anywhere else, I'm going to announce it right here on my YouTube channel. Because of this dress and because of some other projects that I've worked on with Monique <laughs> and because... You know, you guys have really requested this and have really just kind of forced me, <laughs> but I didn't really need that much forcing. <laughs> the birth of Riley Knox Couture has launched. <laughs> I am now uh, a full on designer um, and I have started a design house. Riley Knox Couture is the name of my company and it is basically one of a kind couture pieces um some of them bespoke which means made and custom made for you or in some of them not some of them are but everything that is in my line will be one of a kind creations there's nothing you can buy anywhere else and they are all handmade by me and um it won't all be evening gowns some of it will be ready to wear things that you can wear pretty much anywhere maybe we'll do some jackets we'll do some coats we'll do some like maybe new year's eve dresses things like that but i wanted it to be very specific um it's not mass produced so there's no like online store where you guys could just go out and just buy you know get this you see a dress like people were asking like where can we get monique's dress you can't get monique's dress it's one of a kind there it's it's the only dress like it in the world i'm never making another dress like it it is it was specifically made for her it was custom for her but it is couture there's no other dress like this dress and it is a literal piece of art it's heavy it is but it wasn't heavy on her she was just like no it feels fine um, but it is a literal piece of, 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 of art. It is literally, I put my heart and my soul into this as I will with every piece that I make. Um, I'm not going to just go into too many details with what will be in the line because obviously the line is ever evolving with every single thing that I make. But for the first time in 20 years, I'm now making things and pieces for other people and it feels great that you guys actually want this. Like I didn't even, this was not, before this dress, this was not a plan. But because of this dress and because you guys loved it so much and because you guys have asked and you keep asking and I knew you guys were gonna ask. And obviously when you saw that Monique didn't just say, oh, Riley Knox made my dress, you guys saw Riley Knox Couture. So you guys knew that Riley Knox Couture was going to become a thing. And so there it is, ta-da! <laughs> Riley Knox Couture is my new company and my new um, couture house. And I'm so excited for what's to come with it. I'm so excited for you guys to actually be wearing my clothes. So now Riley Knox is not just the person that you see on stage. It's not just the Instagram page that you follow. Riley Knox is now a brand 
of a clothing line, a um, a couture clothing line, one of a kind. And I wanted the pieces to be very special. And I wanted them to basically you to feel like you're wearing just that, like living art and wearable art. And I want you guys to just really cherish these things. And um, yeah, I'm super excited and I cannot wait to... You know, even I can't wait to see what's to come in Riley Knox Couture. But I thank you guys so much for, you know, inciting me to do this. And thank you so much to Monique for trusting me with her look. And thank you to, to Leaf for even suggesting it. Um, there's so much more to come. And you guys will, in the coming weeks, see so many more things. And um, I honestly am just so happy and so proud of this moment. And look at that. I'm not able to be on stage and perform for you guys. But now you have at least something, some of my art in some way, because I've always thought of myself as an artist first. I've always been an artist first. So now you have my, another part of the art that you can, you know, be a part of. And I just honestly want to thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I thank you guys for all the well wishes and all of the comments and, you know, everything, the big ups that you guys have been giving me on Instagram and Facebook and just all over all the the internet completely. You know, now when I Google Riley Knox Couture, there's articles about this dress. And so I'm really excited and so happy that you guys are excited for it too. I really do. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.